all right, the bit was funny the first time. Yeah. <laughs> and then I <laughs> fucked it up twice, so no longer funny. It would be funnier in, like, an edited video. It would be, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so... You should, do, you should do a Vosh video like those fucking uh, Persona fans being dumbasses to Persona music. Videos. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, this is uh, just going to be Mel and I shooting the shit. Because uh, we need to put something out and we haven't recorded in, like, three weeks. Because we're professionals. So that's fine. Uh, so this speaks for itself, right? This image, all on its own. Yeah. But here's the thing, right? People, people uh, are gonna be like, "Oh, that's from that's from Destiny's Discord chat." Back when Vosh was blank, blah 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 bullshit. I'm sure that that's going to eventually be an inevitable defense, which I want to shut down immediately by saying. This is 2018. This was after JonTron. This was after Destiny was known to be an alt-right supporter. So, suck my fucking dick on that one. Uh, so that's a bad one. That's a really bad one, right? And then it gets worse. This is um, Vegan Gains, who's like, notable piece of shit for a multitude of reasons. Um, I forget exactly what. It's been like four years since I've even heard of him, but he is not a good person either. We'll go look I, into him afterwards, I, I, actually. I, I never heard of him, actually. Vegan Gains was really fun. I forget why, but he was he was funny. But for bad reason. Uh, whatever. We'll, we'll go over... We'll go through the history of Vegan Gains when we're done uh, with Vosh here. Yeah, like this whole time period was like... Like 2018-ish to yeah. 2019. It was just the time where I, I just like fell off the like anti-SJW Sargon train and kind of was just burnt out on politics. Yeah, which I until get. I, until I got radicalized, like, in the last year or so. <laughs> so, let's go over this this fantastic snippet of audio that I'm stealing from Twitter and is super hyper-compressed. Okay, so, if you were to... So, you know, there's pedophiles, right, who buy child pornography. Mm -hmm. Would you say they should not be held responsible for doing that? Yes. Really? Even though they're directly <laughs> supporting child rape? Yeah, I think that's, it's, uh, it's hypocritical. If, if I, because I, I bought my computer, and the silicon in it was farmed in Africa by slaves, if I can do that, and that's legal, that's... and no one's going to call me out in my shit, then yeah, I have to be consistent in that respect. Okay, look, um, I, I think there's levels to this, so I wouldn't equate buying a computer to buying child pornography mm. okay so that's that yeah i mean you say this guy's a piece of shit but at least he uh can recognize that that's fucked <laughs> yeah well he's not that fucking off the cuff right yeah but he's yeah, computer is like actual fucking like essential item today so <sighs> and also it's a completely false equivalence like yeah Dude, it, he Vosh did defend this again in a in a video where he's like, "Time to clarify my stance," and he basically just reiterated, the, "It's the same thing. If I if I get the computer and it has the silicon, right, or it's the child slaves that makes it okay. What's the what's the big deal? I don't understand. The difference is <laughs> that yes, computers are." let's say necessary i mean not yeah they are during covid but this wasn't when that occurred um internet's a more necessary thing than uh child porn i would say i think that that may be be more of a ah oh, fuck yeah. it's just it's hard to quantify the idiocy that Vosh shows here and uh your movie sucks i had to think of his fucking acronym did the same defense with animal makeup testing and bestiality, where he's like, well, if one's okay, why isn't the other? And, Christ. again, completely false equivalents. These mean, these are not the same. There's, the to compare them is idiotic and disingenuous, might be the word. Vosh is a pedophile. <laughs> That's all I have. Like, there, nobody immediately goes to defend it for child rape. 
and and comparing it to child slavery. Nobody does that. Nobody says if you if I live in America, then I should be able to rape my child because they have child slaves in Africa and I buy products from Africa. You're out of your fucking mind. Yeah, that's like, and it, it's not even like that clever of a like attempt to obfuscate it. Like, no, I'm I'm down in the fucking trenches and Twitter, and I see, you know much more like well thought out like logical traps than this <laughs> more logical traps than <laughs> than defending child rape well, no, defending log- buying child pornography well I mean like you know attempts to justify actually buying or you know actually consuming like child porn and shit <sighs> yeah it yeah, uh, it's, like, it's not even like a galaxy brain defense. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Um, Vosh tries to play this off. I, I'm assuming that he's going through the no ethical consumption under capitalism thing. But that doesn't mean that you can just start the purge, dude. That's not the same thing. No ethical consumption under capitalism doesn't mean that you should just start buying snuff films. That's not how that works. Yeah. It's not hypocritical to do one or the other. Especially when you buy when you buy child pornography, you're often buying from the producer. Yeah. Like directly. Like if even if there's no ethical consumption or capitalism, there are some things that are not ethical to consume under any system. <laughs> like period. And that's the yeah. difference. <laughs> and, oh, he's fucking these anarcho communists give me a headache. Gift economies, dude. Totally gonna work. Oh. Mm. He just wants child pornography. <laughs> FBI, FBI has entered the chat. Correct. They have. And lots of uh, child next to pornography in this stream immediately. Yeah. Eight minutes fucking in. Uh, there's that one. Alright, I also want to talk about this because I'm done with Vosh. That's all that needs to be said about Vosh. I want to talk about this and I want to talk about the wider spread problem of simping for female socialists. Uh, Socialists in quotation marks for one of them at least. I don't know about the other three really. um, Same thing. Not not to the degree that Shu is full of shit, but to to some some kind of comparable, I guess. Uh, So one, females deserve no rights. Let's get that out of the way, right? Immediately, uh, get out. It, it's okay. I'm a female. I uh, <laughs> this country. This country's for bros only. I endorse this stream entirely. <laughs> Men only come everywhere, dude. Only pregnancy capable liquids coming out of our bodies in this goddamn country. <sighs> so. Having my rights taken away is a turn on for me. Okay. There you go. See, I was right. Um, so this fucking bitch, uh, insufferable already. This tweet is already insufferable. Um, in and of itself, when you have a society that stigmatizes men for being men, cocks run rampant. Uh, do we do that? Do we stigmatize men for being men? I want to answer that first. I want to, I want to feel how yes and no. Depends on what part of the internet you're on. Yeah, I would say so. It yeah, really does. I mean, it depends where you are. That uh, that like definitely living in fucking like Washington, like around Seattle, like where I grew up. There was definitely like I've when I was when I wasn't like completely out. I kind of just felt like guilty for appearing like a guy for a while. With the, um, yeah, with, like... It, it was, yeah, it was a time when I was, like, really kind of getting dragged into the, uh, the narrative a bit, of course. But, but I mean, it was definitely, like, something that I just, like, felt like the climate made me feel guilt over it, you know? Hold on, I need to... Especially, especially having to take, uh, 
diversity classes like as a requirement for my degree. Like there's shit where I was just like, oh, I feel like I'm a second class citizen in this class unless I like out myself. Yeah, and I don't mean to take away from um, you pouring your heart out here, but I, uh, yeah, I, I allowed a word and it gave me this, and I thought that was funny. Good time there. You still there? You sound like you cut out. No, I'm good. I'm sorry. I kind of just went off on a tangent there. No, you're solid. Uh, yeah, so to answer the question about, um, fuck, I should have slept. About, uh, <laughs> god damn, stigmatizing men for being men. There we go. Really just does depend, I think, on where you're at, who's talking to you. Uh, culturally, I'd say that the zeitgeist flips every single day. It, it, like, there is yeah. no cultural consensus yet. What happened with Vosh? Uh, I can just have the image again. <laughs> yeah, we, we kind of went over it in the intro. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. This happened. Um, also saying that no ethical consumption under capitalism, therefore buying a computer is the same level of uh, ethical somethings as child porn. Yeah. Buying a computer is the same as child porn. That's what Vosh said. He yeah. tried to defend it. He did a piss poor job. Is there one more? Yeah, here, I'll put it in the chat for you. There you go. Alright, alright, back to these. Uh, I hate these people. Wait, the bot just, uh... Oh, it told, told me to stop posting links in my chat. No, it didn't, it didn't tell you, it told the obvious. Oh, alright, well, that's fine. That's fine. How, how do you make the bot stop? Yeah, it just deleted a bunch of messages. I don't know. It's Streamlabs doing it. I don't know. I'll figure it out later. The fuck? Thank you, thank, thank you Streamlabs. Fuck. I'll fix it now. Fine. Open up bigporns.exe on accident. <laughs> uh, I don't even know how to fix it. I don't need Streamlabs enough. Never mind. Anyway. These four. This tweet insufferable. Whatever. It's obviously insufferable. I don't think I need to say why. And then it gets worse. Did you see the rest of it? The Like, the thread? I wasn't really reading it too much. Uh, second tweet. At Timcast. For the clout. Clearly. Can oh. I send the link now? Nah, I, I don't know what I'm doing with Streamlabs. I'll try again. Mel, can Probably. you cover? <laughs> can you cover me? I mean, I guess you could also just mod me in the chat and I can try to figure it out. It's a Streamlabs um, bot thing, so I think it has to be on my end. Anyway, about these four, if you have any words, like it's a fucking funeral. I, mean, I don't fucking know. I mean, Shu was like my intro to po like political YouTube in general. So it's like... I know her history. I don't. I, I don't know. Her history of being true scum and uh, fucking engaged to armored skeptic, the f uh, f yeah known friend of Sargon, and then flipped over to being a friend of Wash, the pedophile. Yeah, he, she was in 2016 when I first started watching her. She was very much one of those. Oh, let's give you know. Let's just give Trump a try. And I mean, fuck Hillary. Of course. But. Also, like they were, they were absolutely simping for Trump as like being the good choice for LGBT people, and it's like obviously not. <laughs> I'm gonna not play devil's advocate, but um, call John's here. I wasn't paying attention to Shu at the time. I don't know if she was or was not doing that. I mean, she was. I was. I was watching videos. There are Twitch DMs. Like a, a friend who I will not name. Who has been on the pod introduced me to uh shoe on head and from there you know i fell down the rabbit hole of like sargon and tim pool and everyone um i was linked a thing uh i don't know i don't know the validity but fuck it i don't like vosh let's just smear his name a little bit you know this is because oh, yeah. sebastian this guy's homophobia um i don't know who this person is if you in the chat have a uh, Familiar. If you in the chat have context on who um, 
this other person is, I would like to know. That, Probably a minor, I'm yeah. assuming. Otherwise, I don't know why this would be a big deal. This is recent. Yeah, I don't know. Can't make a yeah. call. Interesting. <laughs> uh, regardless, uh, yeah, immediately goes for Timcast, brags about Sargon being tagged, etc., which she used to be friends with. Um, also leaving out, you know, Shu, fucking true scum. There was more. God, I, we shouldn't have done this. Where the f we were just talking about it. it was true scum. Oh, and being friends with Vosh, right? Which yeah. all of these people are, but they're all bread tube. So fuck them. Fuck yeah. all of them. And she was like very much trying to be bread tube now. Yeah, uh, and you have of course the typical shit like this this means nothing you're just it's just a clout tweet this means literally nothing and twitter isn't the best place for uh political theory obviously i'm not saying that it is but this is just saying doesn't stupid shit for the sake of saying it anywhere yeah it doesn't it does nothing it just makes people annoyed at you like me and i'm a leftist i'm hard left and i think you're fucking annoying <laughs> just <laughs> yeah i hate these people i hate them I hate them so much. Uh, always talking about just fucking dumb shit. Ta they, I brought this up earlier, they were talking about infighting, but they're friends with pedophiles. They're friends with child rape defenders. That's not, it's not something yeah. that you can claim the, oh, it's just infighting defense on. You're completely full of shit. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna fucking give a point to the people who uh who I fucking see in the trenches on furry twitter <laughs> and quote them and saying that's not drama that's dangerous shit <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's it's different it's ah, god these fucking people make my head hurt they keep me up at night with their dumb fucking opinions um like it's okay actually as long as we can build like the left equivalent of the alt-right pipeline. Yeah. I think, ultimately, the problem with uh, all this shit is that we made Twitter the political place. Um, yeah. Probably after the Tumblr ban, I'd say, the Tumblr porn ban, infamous. When that happened is probably when all these fucking political people came. And not to say that some of them aren't smart people or funny people, but this isn't the platform. This is not the right place. Until November, things are going to be much more ugly on the streets. Oh, absolutely. Either way. Whichever way is going to happen. Biden, senile rapist, or Trump, senile rapist, one way or the other. No, nah, shit's going to go bad. Yeah. Yeah. It's already really bad. <laughs> Can't believe that. You know what? Yeah. We should, all, we should all just fucking move back to, or like move to Tumblr, like all the people who were on Twitter. Because apparently the porn ban just isn't really doing much now so socialists of today can't differentiate between neoliberals and neo-fascists uh i haven't i don't know what a fucking neo-fascist is politician, politicians stop their policies from twitter yeah because they're paul they're fucking the policies from twitter are just um that's the word i'm looking for performative shit that makes people feel better instead of um <laughs> it's the equivalent of uh, the the Twitter policies are the equivalent of painting Black Lives Matter on the street and then getting that shit covered up by NYPD cars. It's not even theory. Yeah, oh, I'm fucking. I'm in my own timeline. I mean to be here again. Mm -mm. Let's just see if Chu said something dumb. Uh right, where the organ. Nah. Uh, uh. Uh, now I'm just desperate. Alright, so let's do what yeah. I promised and go look at vegan gains. Yeah, I think after sh after Bernie dropped out, Shu just kind of uh, disappeared on YouTube for a while and then started making like long-form like news videos. Just to do something, I guess. But I, I stopped watching. Ah, here it is immediately. Just found out that Ben Shapiro's sister has a YouTube channel. Response coming soon. Who cares? Who the fuck cares? Who actually gives a shit? Oh, 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 god damn it. <laughs> Son of a bitch! <laughs> Son of a bitch! 
<laughs> All right. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. There's no. Oh, where is it? Where is it? Rational wiki. Oh, I bet this is a good place. Oh, definitely. <laughs> uh, hi highly charged. Ah, here it is immediately. Discord stream. I can't read this. <laughs> ah, that's fine. Vegan gains or vegan ghoul. When his oh oh, it's coming back to me. When his 82 year old grandfather was suffering from a fatal heart attack, bird. Burgess? I'm going to go with Burgess. Video recorded the event and intended to post online in order to use his grandpa as an example of what happens to meat eaters. Unsurprisingly, it was soon deleted at the request of his family. When meat loving bodybuilder Pete, not going to try, Furious Pete was diagnosed with cancer at the age of 30, Burgess stepped in to gloat as what he saw as that guy's just desserts for eating meat and promoting the death and suffering of animals through the use of novelty t shirts, managing to leech heavily, blah, blah, blah. Uh, yeah, he's one of those guys. He's. One, one of the insane vegan people, which I bring up because he interviewed Vosh. I feel Trump might win. Uh, Trump win might pull more people towards sanity. It might. It might finally show people that the election is a joke and that electoralism has no validity anymore, especially in a two-party system when they're both controlled by the same corporations. It's all meaningless. But also. Remember, you're thinking about America. <laughs> I don't think that we're smart enough for all that. Two crazies arguing with each other. Yep, that's all it is. Two people who don't know where they are anymore. At least Trump's funny. Yeah, the moment it looked like Biden was going to be the candidate, people started demonizing uh, being an accelerationist. But uh, but it's like, what other fucking choice do we have? <laughs> you want the guy who will do nothing or the guy who will do nothing but he makes you feel worse about it? Trump is at least honest about what he wants, most of the time. There's a lot of times where he will lie to you, um, for the sake of progressing his campaign, but every candidate does that. That's fucking nothing new. Can revolution be brought without violence? Um, maybe not in this country. It yeah, would, I mean, it's a little late for that. Yeah, we're so... Uh, deeply entrenched in our conservative ways in America. I don't know if that's a possibility anymore. Uh, I don't know if civil war is an inevitability, but like, fuck, dude. I just don't know. This is, um, historic. I don't think there's anything that's ever been like this to happen. Yeah, I saw a tweet today. It was that we're now four months straight every day of protests. Yeah, 100 even days. Though, like, it's like, even though the news isn't covering it, it's like this is historic. We, we are in history one way or another. Yeah. Uh, we need a revolutionary war. Okay, but the problem is with who? Because <laughs> cause either way, there's going to be one, but it'll be two sides fighting against each other and then the government. It will it would be like a three-way. Trump is better on cannabis and the wars compared to Biden. Yeah, but only because he's only had this long in his policies, I think. Remember the start of 2020, like a billion years ago, when uh, World War Three was a concern? Just fucking, because we just bombed that guy. Just killed him. Oh. Blah, blah, blah. Hello. Revolution is possible in the United States, at least not a progressive one. The material conditions aren't there. I agree with that, too. Uh, all of the, um... What's the word? God, I'm bad. Corporations, that's what I'm looking for. <laughs> that's how bad I am. I need coffee or some shit. Uh, Damn. yeah, all the corporations are on the side of the conservative, I don't want to say candidates. When I say conservative, I mean Democrats and I mean Republicans. I mean the both of them. They're both conservative. Yeah. They're on the side of, of conservative values, corporations, so, yeah, there's just no way that a progressive yeah, revolution wrong. would happen in this country. It, it just doesn't have the, the proper personal funding, I don't think. And bodies. There's not enough bodies. Yeah, I mean, like, if there is a civil war, it's gonna be the fucking... Hi, Peng. Like, neo-libs versus the right. Yeah. So, they're both gonna be, like, in the grand scheme of things on the right, and then there's just gonna be us on the left, like, well, fuck. What do we do? Who do we fight for? <laughs> yeah. Could separatism of some places like California be a possible solution? 
Um, no, because there's no state in the United States, I think, that could be self-sufficient anymore. I think that they all rely on the other states in terms of production of food and water, especially with California. They have a fucking drought. Um, but I know yeah. that California is just an example. I don't think that any state could pull it off alone. I think that it would have to be several states that are next to each other, that are landlocked with each other, because there's no fucking way that states could separate into their own country and not be next to each other and still send resources. It just couldn't happen. Plus, it would not be popular with the average American because of the Civil War. Yeah, that too. <laughs> not enough yeah. people in support of that, just in general. I feel left needs a young guy in order to bring revolution. Uh, it's something to do with, like, age groups. Max can pull it off alone. Fuck watch and fuck watch defenders. Hell yes. Oh, while we're talking, may as well have that in case anybody's like, why is this the yeah, watch is over party? We'll leave it up. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't survive anyway. California is too much oil. U.S. would march back and kill all usurpers. Exactly. Separatism, I think, would be the perfect excuse that they would want to just start marching in and killing um, liberals. Yeah, I mean, it took peaceful peaceful protest for them to fantasize about sending the military into Portland, so... <laughs> it's not even a fantasy anymore. Imagine, like, actually imagine, going out of the West. Yeah, imagine being a hostile country. The wet dream. It's what the military's been waiting for. And not to mention, um, if we are that broken up, someone's gonna want to step in. Yeah, a foreign power for sure. There are, there are too many people who would, uh, want, 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 fuck, I clicked the wrong place. <laughs> too many people who would want to get in on that. We have so much land. Dude, we have yeah. so much land. And resources. I live where there's shitloads of free land. It's just everywhere. You know how many countries want land? How many yeah. imperialist countries there still are? Not in their active methods, but what they still would like to do, because nothing functionally changed for generations. You know, uh, oh, what? I saw a lot of that on on my way, like moving out here. Just so much open shit. Yeah, it's bad. It's real bad in the Midwest where there's just nothing. It's like it's like I fucking understand. Like going through Wyoming, like a lot of that looked pretty fucking unlivable. Um, question, can a coup be possible? No. Without a doubt, no. It Nobody doesn't... Would. There's no but one one group that would be supported. No, 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 no way. France is still going on visits to Lebanon as they are visiting a colony. Yep. There's... <laughs> we just take lithium from Bolivia. We just can take it. It means nothing. Borders mean nothing. Absolutely. The idea that imperialism is dead in any form is ridiculous. If there was a coup in America, then it one would immediately be usurped by fourteen other coups until somebody finally gives up, and then two, the people probably wouldn't support it. Neither the left or the right in this country. Alaska wouldn't survive either. Oh, absolutely not. Alaska and Canada might be able to figure something out, actually, because Alaska isn't connected to the United States, like the mainland, so they might actually have something. Yeah, I mean, they probably don't really have enough people to even, like, to really have a choice in what happens to them, though. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Fallout, China annexes... No, it was the U.S. annexes Canada to, to defend Alaska. It was dumb. Um... Elon Musk tweet about Bolivia was mask off. Very much so, but you still have Redditors who buy Funko Pops uh, telling him he's such a great guy. Asking when they can get the next hot meme. We have 300 million guns. Might be Wild Wild West. That is one of the reasons that America has yet to be invaded. <laughs> it's because we have yeah. such a strong armed civilian force. Which, by the way, if you're left and you're listening, buy a gun. Absolutely be armed. Join your local SRA chapter, or don't if they're uh, if they're those guys, you know. Well, from what I've seen, they're usually like you know actually doing shit on the ground, I, like you know community support and stuff. Yeah, but every like, there's always like, chapters that are bad. Like you no, know? you know, the the actual uh, 
stuff that you're supposed to do and organize when uh, there's not a revolution going on. Ah, yeah. Pang asks, what do you think about the ones that are extremely anti-gun? They're stupid. <laughs> anti-gun leftists are dumb. They're very dumb to be like, we should take the guns away from ourselves and trust the big government to, to handle it for us. And I, I'm, I'm aware that a concept like Medicare for All is big government, but it also, in, in the ideal situation, it comes with a swath of other changes. It's not just Medicare for All. I and think pretty much, et pretty much everyone who isn't like a performative leftist at this point has become pro-gun yeah. just because of the shit going on and you should be you should absolutely be pro-gun especially if if um if people like Kyle Rittenhouse is that his name the the 17 year old shooter yeah especially if people like him are just gonna keep getting away with it <laughs> you know <laughs> just random yeah. shootings um it's like we're not, we're not even we're not even like going on for weeks about you know gun violence every time a shooting happens now because yeah it just i don't even know uh that's the only reason japan didn't invade during world war ii would be a rifle behind every blade of grass goddamn right second amendment probably one of the very few good things that come out of the u.s bourgeoisie revolution yes Freedom of speech is a good one too. I like that one too. Um, we should update the constitution though, because people keep using the fucking "oh, but they only had muskets then" thing as like an anti-gun stance. Uh, liberals are more anti-guns. Yes, they are. Paying you are not performative. Trust me, and especially uh, cough, cough with your job. I get it. Uh, leftists have no way to protect themselves in Europe because of the super strict gun laws. It sucks here. I bet. I fucking bet. I bet that's a bad time. I remember... I don't remember if it was, like, just straight up lies, but I remember France being fucking, like, uh, Paris being taken over by terrorists. Like, a whole block yeah. was just owned in, by ISIS. In, yeah, in other countries, though, like, where they don't have guns to rely on, Protesters certainly do get more like crafty though. Like they actually have the balls to fight back. Hong Kong, fuck yeah. Yeah. Maybe even like some videos I've seen of like, what, what's the country that's like having an actual revolution right now? Ah, uh, I don't know. Um, is it like an Eastern European country. Probably the closest one is Arab Spring, huh? Uh, somebody asked, do you feel Kyle Rittenhouse did on self defense? Two question marks. I want to clarify, no, he did not do that in self defense. He's a killer. Um, I mean that, like, if people like him can't keep getting away with it under the current system, then yeah, it's a problem to not have guns. Belarus, thank you, yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, they actually, like, do real shit. Unlike us, where we, like, get afraid to have shields because the police get mad. Uh, I have seen the Rittenhouse footage. Uh, he shouldn't have been there with a gun. Uh, what's the fucking... No! Did the bot start to leave? It just deleted Pang, our fucking known friend. Um, yeah, sorry, but, Pang. Why, is it, why does it delete every message from a person when they post links? Post it's the link? Yeah, walking, going into a protest, uh, heavily armed, uh, threatening people pointing your guns at them, and then when the cameras start rolling, just as soon as you were, you know, being pushed back and attacked for doing that? Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. And then you can just shoot two people, and then the cops don't stop you. They don't, like, handcuff you or ask you questions. They literally, you walk by them and they let you go? Even if he absolutely was justified, the cops should have stopped him. It doesn't, like, there's so many other things beyond was he justified, which is still no, he wasn't. Um, of course Destiny would justify Kyle Rittenhouse actions. I'm not surprised. Rogers and Belarus when they joined the U EU and NATO, which is why I oppose them. Yeah, but it's one of those things where, like, they don't... Like, they don't know how bad it can be sometimes. I, I don't... I didn't actually look much into Belarus. Didn't they have, like, 
Isn't there someone in power right now who's like actually bad? I don't know. Let me look. I don't know. I fucking I have no idea about Belarus. <sighs> yeah, Destiny's bad. Destiny's real bad. Okay, yeah, they're seeking the resignation of a president who who was uh they're, they accuse him of rigging. Okay, yep, yep, okay. Sounds about right to what I saw on uh, Twitter. Lukashenko. He's be really skeptical towards the West. Should be really skeptical towards the West. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> uh, Destiny tries to paint Biden as a saint. Sean Bernie. That's weird. That's weird of Destiny to do. Yeah, I'd think that he'd be Trump, but I guess that's mask on. Unsurprised about Destiny doing that, um, defending Kyle, because of course he would. I wonder if that's a view thing. I wonder if he has opinions. You know what I mean? Like actual. Yeah. Opinions? Do Do you think that he thinks anything for himself, or do you think that he's all clout? Ah, uh, probably clout. He's causing domestic terror, not protesting peacefully. Let's talk about that for a second. Uh. Protesting peacefully clearly hasn't worked for a hundred days straight. Uh, Brianna Taylor's murderers are still not in jail. Still not arrested. Uh, George Floyd's murderers weren't arrested either. They were just laid off. Uh, protesting peacefully clearly hasn't worked anymore. Uh, and if a dumpster fire to you is enough to uh, justify shooting people, then, uh, you know, I guess I can't stop you. It wasn't Biden with the booty gig. Sanders never confirmed a Democratic candidate. Yeah, and there was that idea that Sanders was just um, given any sort of, uh, what's the word, ground to stand on so that he could distract, take away resources and morale from organizing separately from the DNC. Which does make sense. It's a little tinfoil hat, but it does make a lot of sense. Bread tubers are all clout. Is Destiny a bread tuber? Does he count? <laughs> He bread tuber? Biden's on Adderall? That's not anything. Yeah, I... S were they arrested? Oh, yeah, they were. They were charged with... It was second-degree murder. I think. I think it was second-degree for the guy who was on his neck, and I forget what the other guy got. Oh. I know why I got that confused. I got that confused because it still took a month. Who am I thinking of? It was Brianna Taylor. Yeah, was... no, Gabiness, that's absolutely right. Bread, bread tubers are, like, the worst thing to happen to the movement. Um, who the fuck was especially, it? Especially because just fucking anyone could be a bread tuber at this point, and was... then start just cranking the cranking the uh, narrative in like completely the wrong direction once they get clout. Was Eric Garner's killer ever arrested? It's been so long. Let's look that up. Eric Gardner Killer. It was this that I'm thinking of. I apologize, yes, you are correct. George Floyd's killers were arrested. It was fucking Eric Garner that I'm fucking getting it confused with. Uh, if H1 good way with trying to guess at least one person getting sexually assaulted, it's still be on the left, they all are. I don't remember that, but could you please put that in the Discord, Pang? I would like to read up on that. If you have a link to that. I hate him mostly because he talks shit about Matthew Matosis, because I'm a fucking nerd. <laughs> um, also, about bread tubers being the worst thing to happen on the left, yes, and then they try and say it's the quote-unquote dirtbag left who are actually the problem. They try and say that Chapo is the problem. It's Red Scare. And Red Scare, they're not very smart a lot of the time, but they're not the worst thing to happen. It's bread tube. Especially because fucking bread tube people... Is Casey Explosion that left I don't know I just checked out, checked the fuck out of bread tube drama after the whole contrapoints thing oh, that's bad too 
It's not, I remember that being I mean, a bad one. Whenever every every time she puts out a fucking video, it's just my timeline is just fucked. Because they, they like pick it apart to figure out like how to construe her as like the worst. They're still on about her being true scum, I guess. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm I don't even care at this point. <laughs> we're turning the podcast some time. I'd love being Ooh. on the last time. Absolutely, Pang. It was a great episode, the Brony episode. A, a Skype screenshot. Oh. Hell yeah, Peng, I'd have you on again. I went ahead and banned the guy who keeps defending the child murderer, because he's running in alt-right circles. Just not going to deal with that one. Uh, yeah. ContraPoints is, mil- Contra is a millionaire now! What? What the fuck? Is that something yeah. I can Google? ContraPoints net worth? I mean, yeah, that is one argument I heard that she makes way too much fucking money. Net, net worth in 2020, 225,000. Net worth calculator. <sighs> I mean, I don't know, I don't think that takes into account Patreon. Fuck, there's a Patreon, of course there is. Yeah, she's like, I know she's huge on Patreon. I mean, yeah, she, def- she definitely could do a lot more with her money. But like, actually actually like go on that instead of like oh she said she said this she's obviously true scum hold on i like the chapo guys but i think that they don't i don't know what they do with their money i suppose it's not my business but it's something like 120,000 now they are the top yeah. thing on patreon but also I fuck me I- jesus Ugh. yeah I mean, at least for Chapo, like, people that they feature probably won't, or will be, uh, you know, they'll kind of have that black mark on the record just because of the reputation Chapo has. Yeah. Um, again, I like them, but they, I, it's also not my business with their money, but I, you know, don't trust people who make this much. <laughs> yeah. It's different with Comtown because they're not political people. They're a comedy podcast. I don't, I don't. You know, like the amount that they make in one week could change my life. So in a month, dude. Yeah. No one should make this much. Yeah. And I suppose, like, the whole thing about being anti-billionaire is you can't make a billion dollars ethically. But if people are just giving it to you, I suppose that's a great line. I have to think about that more when I'm not as tired. It's an interesting question, though. If um, Chapo should have all this money. Which, again, still isn't my business. They could be donating a shitload of it, for all I know. But I don't. It's something that I liked about Critical before he went off his old fucking rabbit hole. Was all the money that he made would go to charity. I think that he does it for profit now, though. I don't know. It's been a while since I checked up on him. Yeah, I would be happy to make make a living doing, like, content. I don't know what I would do with all the extra money. Um... Pang. Ah, there it is. Thank you, Pang. Perfect. Zoom in a bit, because I have bad eyes. I need glasses for my computer. I'm fucking old. You around? Uh, blah, blah, blah. I'm not covering notes. I'll your picture piece again. What's the sentence? Bring me out of darkness. I'm going to open the sentence. You're blind stuff. Okay, I don't know. I have no context for this. <laughs> there was a bit more. Was there? Where? Shit. I don't know who who You set it up. Let me let me read up and see what the fuck you're talking about. Uh God, God, God. I'll be right back. Alright, go for it. Which on clout. If H Bomb Gidwood was trying to gaslight at least one person getting sexually assaulted and still be a darling of the left. Um Yeah, I don't have any context to this. I wonder if I can Google that. Oh, Kiwi Farms, hell yes. I hope that they don't have any titties. In the anger? Okay. All this. Uh, can I rely on this money and not be homeless? Can I watch your streams? Because you do Mr. Fuckface on our day. Come over and drink till you say no to me. He's basically your bestie. Da-da-da. Alright, well. 
didn't Peter Coffin supposedly groom someone? I remember hearing something about that, but I don't remember if it was ever verified. I do remember hearing about it, though. He's really annoying. I don't like that guy. I forget why. It's partially the smugness, but there was something that he said that also rubbed me the wrong way. H-bomber guy being a gaslighter of sexual assault isn't surprising. Uh, I, I don't ever want to be a... <laughs> I want to read the sentence. I don't ever want to be the sort of person who would defend a rapist because it would tear a family apart. Never want to be like those people he talked about. This is bad. This is rough. I don't think... I know exactly how it looks to tell you. I don't think Ethan planned to rape you. What? <laughs> this is wild. Oh, fuck me. It keeps going. Oh, there's so much. Oh, okay. I don't... Oh, boy. Oh, Jesus. Uh, Peter Coffin is discount counterpoints. Yeah, I think they're them, right? I think I was just being an asshole for a second. Hold on. I can't fucking... I'm just missing the right keys. Baby leftist. Yeah, and I suppose you could do worse than H-Bomber guy. He's not Vosh. You could do worse, I think. Um, Because I don't think H-Bomber guy ever outright is like, Yeah, child rape. It's the same as buying a computer. Yeah, they them. Um, let's, let's Google if that was a thing. Peter Coffin accusations or something. Controversy. Fake girlfriend, fake Asian girlfriend. Is this the same Peter Coffin? I don't think this is the same Peter Coffin. Huh. Peter Coffin accusations. Final... Uh, this looks bad. The trans person. Some other trans people simply say he's a rapist. However, other trans people think the accuser is a rapist. This looks complicated. And like I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm confused. Now back off on this one. Let me read this one. Uh, they're right about that one. Um, otherwise, yeah, I just, I just don't know shit about Peter Coffin in that case. Keep on the Vosh image, as it is relevant always. This is such a good image. I'm really happy that this came out. I'm <laughs> really happy about this. <laughs> oh, he's been such a dickhead for so long. I know it's bad to, to be like, yeah, get me too, but god damn, I hate this motherfucker. Oh, he drives me up the fucking wall. Good that shit's going down. Be left to slip to the yeah, I already read that. Bad. Um which is Comptown making now. Did they cover it up? I think that they're the second most. God damn, they're at sixty. They were at fifty last time I looked, which was like three months ago. Jesus. <laughs> they never went out to the pumpkin patch because COVID hit. Let's look at the top Patreons. <laughs> Chapo, of course. This was a while ago. Here, this might be, this might be better. I know that Chapo's number one for sure. It's like 2017, though. I thought this said 2019. Did it? No, the last update, 2020. Oh, update. Okay. Um, I don't know who hoodied. Okay, that's a business. 90 minute fever. Bite size vegan. Why does it say 237 plus per month, but then the... Uh, what the fuck are these articles? Okay, here's one that's like, actually like, graphs the... Uh, this is a massive difference in numbers. What are you doing? 305 to 30,000. Kind of a fucking leap, dude. What are you doing? Uh, you hitting me with something? I uh, I'm just looking at like one that's like an actual graph of shit. 310. These are not the top ones. Yeah, put it in voice, voice text. Appreciate. Yeah. Copy link. Very smart. I know how to right click. There we go. Holy fuck. They're not number one anymore. That's wild. But of course, it's a white woman podcast. 
<laughs> that is, um, that's still a, a, a joke, yeah. right? People still know that white women are into the true crime thing. Yeah. What the fuck is you? ASMR? Never mind. God damn, there's just. Charan on 14, hell yes, piss pig granddad. There we go. That's the boy. Mel, have I talked to you about piss pig granddad? No, you have not. He's that guy. CGP Gray. Who the fuck is CGP Gray? I feel like I recognize that name. Oh, God, he does history, doesn't he? I think. That history animator guy? Um, I think. The liberal? I don't know then. Uh, nah, Piss Pit Granddad is that socialist who went and fought ISIS. Like, he just went to the country that had ISIS in it, because I don't remember its name, because I'm racist. He just went and fought them. And then he... Then he came back to the U.S. and started a union in a factory. Oh, yeah, no. You told me about this, dude. I think you talked yeah. about him on the pod. Yeah, he's one of the hosts of the Trin on podcast. Let me see if I can get his full story. He's a cool fucking dude. Um, on another fucking note. What's up? I just looked. Is this Syria? Jim Probably St Syria. Jim yeah, Sterling it was Syria. Jim makes over 14 grand a, or, yeah, 14 grand a month. Gross. Yeah. You want to talk about fucking yeah. neoliberals? Talk about Jim Sterling. He com he complains on the podcast about like being like having money trouble. So, oh, so he's like uh, he's making one hundred twenty thousand dollars a month and uh, can't fucking manage it. Awesome. Good job, Jim Sterling. Uh, yeah, piss pig granddad, uh, Bryce Belden, Tran on pod guy. Uh, Syria went and fought ISIS. Just did it. Just went and did it. And just was posting on Twitter the whole time. Did it say that he came back and... No, it doesn't. I'm not talking about when he came back and did the the union. But he did do that. Pang, you hate you hate Brace Belden? You hate the Trianon? What's up? Hit us. Hit us with them young facts. He doesn't seem like a bad guy. This has gone from uh, the, the Vosh is over party to the we catch up on things that we haven't talked about on the pod for weeks podcast stream. That's fine. Fucking need to sleep. You gotta get the ball rolling somehow. Yeah, it's fine. We'll record soon. What are they? I'm still not working, so. I've yet to listen. I've yet to listen to an episode of Charan on. I keep meaning to. I don't I just don't know shit. Uh, oh, hey, agree, Sterling. Man. Don't yeah, even listen to train on. Really they seem like cool people. Has the stream meant for alpha males or liberals? Uh, alpha women. <laughs> That's us. Not liberals, though. This is an, uh, an anti-liberal pod. Don't worry. Or an anti-liberal stream. We're laughing at liberals. I wonder if we're ever going to get the zeitgeist to the point where it's where there's a difference between left and liberal. Yeah, I've I've tried to explain it to my uh, like religious right parents multiple times. <laughs> that'll that'll never work. That's like a, that's just a lost cause. If you have if you have some hardcore fundamentalist parents, you're just fucked. Yeah, I mean my mom my mom like insists that uh, Biden is a socialist. God, I wish. I tell my dad, yeah, dad, I hate liberals too. He's like. Oh, you hate yourself? Yeah, that fucker. He doesn't know shit. Yeah. That motherfucker. <laughs> Ugh. Left doesn't exist in America, so it makes sense that they wouldn't know what a leftist is. Correct. Absolutely. <laughs> we don't have a left. We just have... We... Um, I don't know. Do you think, Mel, that we have a left at all in America? Not in any, like, substantial form. Because there's... Like, those protests have been going on for a while. Yeah, but and that, I mean, I, Is that people angry? Is it... Or is it... I don't know. I don't know if, like, the people protesting would actually, like... Agree with, like, anything else <laughs> that the left has to say. Yeah. I suppose. I do wonder. You see the Ice-T is a... Is a um, transphobic... Yeah, I heard about that. An Ice Cube is a QAnon guy. 
Did you hear about that? I repeat that. <laughs> that Ice Cube is a QAnon guy? Oh, yeah, no, I fucking heard about that. Oh, I'm not even going to deal with that. That's nice. Uh, Ice Cube, he didn't say anything. He fucking. Let me see if I can pull up the image immediately. QAnon. Can't, can't type. It was about this, yes. Uh, where's the Jesus. where's the image? Jesus. It was it was like this. I remember that one. He had some hotep a little bit. It was this one. This is the one. <laughs> I guess he didn't know what Q was. I guess I I jumped again a little bit. <laughs> he just doesn't know what Q is. But I suppose he's at risk. Yeah. At risk of Q. Without the Q, it is correct. Yeah, it is. NBC article said that Q was just a prank. A couple of poor Janes gone horribly wrong. Um, oh, do you? Oh, that'd be really bad if it was just uh, poor janitors, and it wasn't even a thing. There was something recently about um, it being Jim Watkins, but I don't really believe that. Yeah, I think we. Ha yeah, we put that in the story bin, didn't we? Yeah, I see if I can pull that up. Like, like, uh, like Joe Rogan. That's me. I'm Joe Rogan now. Okay, what well, is there any proof in this tweet? Did you find it already? Oh, here it is. Yep. Here's Jim Watkins. He's a pedophile fuckhead who owns own Peach and lives in the Philippines raising pigs and probably doing pedophile shit. He's also verifiably Q. Is he verifiably, uh, though? I don't know about this. Let's see. Unix tool, Bind Damon. Let's look up the DS's website. Jim Watkins is fucking. Oh right, that. Yeah, that but does but does any of this means that he is the guy who started Q? Jim yeah, Watkins could, is the eight eight be. chan owner, not Hot Wheels. He's different to Hot Wheels. I like I, I believe he could be helping Q. He's undoubtedly, but I don't know if he is the guy who started Q. Uh, only proof they're using the same hostings. Yeah, that's true too. Don't know if it's. Don't know. Just don't know. Jim Ryan Q said that for a while now. Potentially. Q is against pedos. Be hypocritical for him to be a part of Q. Probably, but. You know. Vosh is technically against pedophiles. <laughs> so. I don't know. That's what they all say, though, is that they're. I would never touch a kid. And then, you know, there's Kevin Spacey over there. Just chilling. Is there uh, any tireless domain? Yeah, I just don't know. I don't quite know if um. Don't know. It it's believable. I just don't think it's completely verifiable. And it's not Hot Wheels. I believe. I don't think. I don't think Jim Watkins is Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels 8chan is a <laughs> fucking... Yeah, okay, totally different person. I just forgot his name, his real name. Yeah. He called himself Hot Wheels. It's not offensive, I swear. I'm allowed yeah. to say it. Man, that's a, that's a fucking mistake. I remember being a part of the second Exodus, which was Gamergate, back in the day. Back when I was 14. Uh, oh, Christ. Yeah, good times. Um, going to 8chan for like five or six months. And then having an exodus from that, and I don't remember why, and then going to Master Chan. Which is the crime one. <laughs> That's one I haven't heard of. <laughs> That's the big crime one. Uh, it's not even that far into the rabbit hole, but it's not great. Could be, could be better. Has, uh, has Drifter said anything, uh... Anything cancel worthy yet? Want to want to catch him know. for something, for well, fun. Last I heard, last I heard of Drifter, was us. Was, uh, well, no, was he was apparently the furry channel in his uh, Discord had to be deleted because of people posting some shit. Oh, epic! The cub yeah, stuff but, is that what you people call it? No, I don't know. I wasn't there. I just heard it got deleted. I assume that you had more details. That's fine. 
I'm sorry. I don't. I don't pay attention to Drifter. I, <laughs> what do you mean you don't pay attention to liberal time, Call my, of Duty YouTubers? My time is too valuable. <laughs> <laughs> but Mel, we're friends with a friend of Drifter. You should know. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you should be keeping up. Um, I think that's all that we got, huh? I don't think. Fuck. Not home. Not home. Okay. <laughs> I saved it. I saved it. <laughs> I saved it. All right. What else do we have in the story bin, even? Um, I don't think there was anything in the story bin that's particularly relevant to what we were talking about today. Yeah. Oh, I do want to talk a little bit about the protesters who built the guillotine outside of Jeff Bezos' house. I want to talk about how this is a pointless fucking gesture. Yeah. This is a hot, the hot left take. When you used to know a groomer, it's true. I used to know Vito, the brony. Um. Go right. look him up if you want a fucking thing. Go listen to the episode that Ping was on because we talked about him. So, building a guillotine means nothing if you're not going to actually do it. Uh, it. It's a it's an empty threat. And I wish that we would do something. And I, you know, I want to drag him out of his fucking house and do it. But it's not going to happen. Yeah. That's, it's... If you're, you're going to uh, do it, don't give him this much warning. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good way to put this, it. This is, just, this is just making him like up his security. That's getting. It's him getting in his helicopter like Jurassic Park and flying away. Yeah. <laughs> Guilty memes aren't serious and alienate people. Ooh, speaking of alienation, let's do let's do another thing. I would like to talk about uh, political theory in and of itself. I believe is alienating the actual working class. Another hot take of mine, right? I think that. Yeah. Marx and uh, Trotsky and those fucking people, I don't comprehend it. And I'm in here. I'm in there, right? How is your average 40 year old, uh, $40 an hour, still having to work in Amazon because life fucked them and they couldn't get student loans because they can never build enough credit? How are they supposed to comprehend Marx and, and Trotsky? Why do yeah, we? Why do we? I, I get it. Bougie is a great word to describe them. It's not a good word for people who don't know what we're talking about. And I don't think that uh, political theory is a good way to introduce people to leftist theories and ideas and simple ideals. Yeah. I think that it, yeah, that and, leftism and could use some people, streamlining. Yeah, plenty of people beating their dick on Twitter about how like you're not a real leftist unless you make an effort to read and comprehend it. Bro, I'm reading 200 pages of theory a day. What the fuck you got on me? I got a job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're, they're fucking full of shit. I don't know. Uh, I get that advanced theory should exist, but you shouldn't use that as your as your baseline for everybody to understand. People can't do that. Maybe we should have people who, uh, you know, can actually, like, put that theory into words that the working class can understand, but then we get left to. We should simplify, but we shouldn't just quit or, Marxism. I mean, bread tube, sorry. Yeah. Uh, we should simplify it, but we shouldn't just quit Marxism. I agree. That's I, uh, I may be saying it bad, it, it, but that is what I'm trying to yeah. say. It's important. It's just, like, not everyone should or can study it. People don't have the time or resources. People are just focused on making it to the next paycheck. And I think that a lot of, um... Who's that fucking bitch? Liz Posting, I think it is. Is this the is this the one? No, that's just some random person. Don't don't bully them. Uh, the, the, the Liz person. There's that person on Twitter, Liz. I remember her posting about uh, reading 200 pages of theory a day and being serious about it. And that... That is what started me on this hate train. I gotta look this shit up. Because people don't have the time, they don't have the resources, they're too focused on just staying alive. They have bigger problems than wondering if they should be a Leninist or a Marxist. If they should be a tanky or a social... Like, there's bigger issues that leftists tend to miss the point of. That's why I don't even really like to say I'm a leftist, I guess. I'm just very far left. Money, please. Money abolish. No more money. Not that I'd know how that work. Which, I guess, I don't know if that removes validity from my issues. Or from my, uh, from my thinking. 
I just tapped my brain like I had a webcam on, like you could see me. I'm going through it right now. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna risk opening my notifications right now and see if I got anything about this. Nope. Okay. We're solid. This is a good talk. We talk shit about Flash because he's a pedophile. Talk shit about H Bomber guy because he gas lit gas lit a rape victim. Peter Coffin. Don't know what they do. Still. We even talked a little bit of shit about Chapo and Cumptown. Yeah, a little bit. Still for having money. For having money. Still the ones I respect the most out of every one of this group. And Comptown, again, I'll say they're a comedy podcast, not a political podcast. I don't give them yeah, I mean, like eh. We should we should I mean we should definitely criticize them, but also fuck purity tests. <laughs> yeah. We we can't afford that shit right now. <laughs> no. We were talking about infighting earlier. That is pointless infighting. Yeah. It's not like they're fucking kids. But also, like I said earlier, there's a difference between drama and people being actual fucking pedophiles. Uh, let me see if I can... Godliness. Is that one of the guys from the chat in here earlier that I have since banned? No, Godliness has been a whole... No, 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 no. I mean, um, he said that there was people... Or they said that there were people DMing them. <laughs> I'm wondering if it's somebody... No. From the chat, or if it's Twitter, carbonated or, water, or or whatever. Slimy yeah, no, oh, not oh, okay. cool, cool, cool. I'm good. I'm just not. That's always the risk that you take when you talk shit about BreadTube. Is that alt right fucks go like, oh, this is for me? No, it isn't. Stay away. <laughs> Don't want you here. You're in the wrong place. Blocked whispers. That's probably smart, but I gotta figure out how the fuck Streamlabs works. I don't know how that... I'm doing it through OBS right now, because Streamlabs did something wrong. I couldn't change tags, I think it was. Yeah. Uh, I can help you figure it out later. Yeah. I will upload this on the channel. If I can fucking... Can I put... Who Pang? Oh, Pang said something? You know, while we're here, we should talk about Frozen is totally in Kingdom Hearts 4 and Overville is canceling another position. Shut down my lead guy. Who the fuck is that guy? Vulane? Does he say anything neat about politics? V I don't know if I'm gonna. Let's see. Actually, this is pulling up a funny tweet. <laughs> this country is unleashed a collective witch hunt again. If it's a prototype of women, it must be. Convenient villain. What the fuck are you talking about? For the New York Post? I mean, Washington Post? I can't read? 1.2 million followers. What the fuck are you. Whatever. I don't. I'm just. Uh, uh, the YouTube channel. Is that in our Twitch description? It no isn't. It's not. No, he's just a clown? Okay. Here, let me. Fuck. Can I can I put in fake links? Can I like slash link? Um, Fuck. Are you able to link stuff without the bot fucking you? Um, no, I'm not, despite owning the fucking channel. There, that works. <laughs> That's where we typically upload things. Uh this was a spur of the moment thing, but we got seven people, Mel, at once. Maybe this is the right yeah. idea. Maybe this is what we what we were born to do. Hell yeah! We um, just need to get more more people to yell with us. We just need uh, bread tubers to say more dumb things, so yeah. we have more content. We need to make Beef watch bread tube. Just get her so live she reaction. Has, so she has, she has strong <laughs> opinions about that's about that the people. <laughs> that would be like when Mike Stoklasa played "Try Not to Shit Your Pants" and he's just like, "I don't know what video games are." <laughs> 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 uh, uh, hour 10 that's a solid hour of content that's almost a pod Damn. I'm gonna unless do we have anything else is there anything else that anybody would like to say again like a funeral I appreciate you gobbiness gobbiness if you don't vote Biden you unintentionally vote Trump maybe Trump is better than Biden I'm silent because I'm thinking Better or worse 
like any being better or worse between Trump and Biden is like They're, minuscule. Yeah, it's irrelevant. And I get the idea, but yeah, fuck it. Honestly, Biden. Yeah, they they do do the same things. They're the same person, really. Yeah, <laughs> I'm I'm exaggerating just ever so slightly. It's true. Trump is technically less of a warmonger. Yeah, Trump is too busy with other other shit to uh, worry about profiting off of war. <laughs> yeah. Can't orchestrate 9-11 like Bush did right now. No time. Too worried about um, getting protesters in the back of unmarked vans. Yeah, the, the one worry I have with Trump is you never know who in the fucking like liberal media is going to hurt his ego and make him develop a strong opinion on something. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> I suppose I never realized that, that he gets opinions when somebody makes fun of him for some, I don't yeah. know. Somebody really powerful who will never see the consequences of it. I didn't even start paying attention to Trump until 2018, and I still try not to. I pay attention to what he does now, but I don't. I don't go and watch the RNC because I don't have a fucking self harm habit. <laughs> I don't like cutting myself, so I don't like watching the RNC. D oh, one one thing. Did you see the uh, the RNC like feedback form? Where you're, are you a socialist or an American? Yes. <laughs> yep, I saw that. <laughs> Let's see if I can find it. I probably can't, but... Uh, are you a socialist or American? Maybe I can find that. Or an American. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Email from polling. Where is it? Oh, hold on. Here it is. What do you identify as? American or socialist? Reviews on President Trump. Okay, that's fine. Crazy Bernie Sanders. There it is. Uh, Super Tuesday. Yep. Where's the rest of it? There's more. There was... Okay, Crooked Hillary. Quid pro Joe Biden. Elizabeth Polk. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot that's, <laughs> oh, that's strong. At least there's somebody funny on his campaign. Um... Trump's pollings yeah. were always like this. Were they? Were they? Yeah, I, I remember seeing about that during uh, Super Tuesday. Here it is. Um, how would you rate acceptance speech, Pence's speech? Did you watch the dark and depressing Democratic convention? Historic, great, good, other. And you can only say that the Democratic one's bad. It's like, Jesus, fuck. How is this allowed? Every time it's, it is parody, like, every time Trump commits a crime, it is just Nancy Pelosi going, Oh, that's illegal! And then not fucking doing anything about it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, try it. try backslash link. That worked for me. Fucking bot. Backslash link watch, might work. Or someone's just gonna whisper. watch the, fuck, the fucking VOD of this video and think we just, like, censored everyone. Yeah, that's not... No, 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 no. I'll fix that later. Uh... Oh, here's the poll. Thank you, Godbiness. Thank you very much. Let's answer this. Let's answer this. An MS-13... Okay, this isn't even grammatically correct. Should be an MS-13. Okay, regardless. A MS-13 loving Democrat. Fuck yeah. A corrupt Democrat. <laughs> <laughs> a radical socialist. Absolutely. A lying Democrat. A high tax Democrat. Also agree with that. A sleazy Democrat. Lying. A lion. So, there's lying and lying. There you go. I miss the corrupt Democrat, the radical socialist Democrat. <laughs> There's two ra radical. Oh, but I have to give my. Okay, hold on. Uh, Mike Hunt is too is too used. There's another one, and I it slips my mind because I'm, what, I'm not. What's Vosh's actual name? That would be. Funny for this <laughs> <thing>. <laughs> Vosh, real name. Oh, that's his real name. <laughs> Vosh your hunts. Um does he have a does he have a um an email? Is this email? A publicly available email. I'm not gonna go digging on Kiwi Farms for it, but if if he has a publicly available one for like 
business inquiries. Yep. <laughs> uh, let's just four twenty sixty nine. Absolutely not. Jesus Christ. My dad gets mail like that because he donated once. This is insanity that this is allowed. He's a billionaire, dude. Right? Trump is a billionaire, I think. Hold on. 100 billionaire, I think. Nah, billionaire. There it is. Oh, fuck. Because <laughs> he needs the money, right? It was an epic success, but the liberals are already trying to take us down. Four this years later. Like this is just the like most historically uh, successful grift on like boomers. <laughs> they fell for it super hard, donating two point eight thousand dollars to President Trump. Yep, because he needs it. I don't want the radical left socialist Democrats to win. It's crazy how well the Red Scare propaganda worked on Americans. It is wild how well that shit worked. God damn. It, it, it's just baked into our DNA at this point. It's bad. Real bad. Solid ending, I think. Because yeah. I'm out of shit to talk about for right now. I had my fun with Vosh. We got to send him an email. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no way this will ever come back to bite me. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure he gets... So much shit it's, on that yeah. publicly available email as is. Yeah. It's fine. He's never gonna notice. I'm sure people yeah. are signing up for fucking blackpeoplemeet.com every day. You know, not worried about yeah. it. Yeah. Ugh, at least I'm not sending him child porn, but he'd like that. Uh, Vosh is a pedophile. We're out. Oh, He's oh, check us out. YouTube.com slash divided by. Divided by podcast. That's us. We talk about politics because we're losers. That's not our. Is that? That's not. That's not our URL. We don't have oh, a vanity URL. Fuck. Okay. I'm sorry. Whatever. Divided so by. Divided by podcast on YouTube. You'll see us. Yeah. We still have a blank logo because I'm still waiting on art. <laughs> All right. That's fine. <laughs> All right. Thanks for joining. Peace out.